Hello and welcome to my first tutorial I've ever done, so this is going to go very fantastically well, I can show you that. Uh, today I'm going to take you through uh, how to modular build some assets. This is very, very easy uh, and very fun to do. Uh, a lot of people normally go through complex modeling, uh, designing characters, you know, all sorts of stuff. But this today, this is going to be a quick and easy low poly model of modular assets. Modular assets are used everywhere in every game. Uh, GTA for being one of the biggest ones. Uh, you create one simple asset and you can use it a thousand times. You can snap it all together, put different materials on it, you can make buildings in no time at all off about three or four assets. So we'll go through that today, we'll go through the basic low poly model of it, the UV in, the material attributes of it, and important in CV4 for actual use. So let, let's uh, let's fly on in. Um, I'm going to open a new. Uh, I'll make a new scene. I'll just save this one. This is something I'm working on. Okay, first thing you need to know is setting up your grid size. I do this uh, just so I know what my entire scene how big my entire scene is and these are the normal units for UE4 this is how UE4 is going to read the units so if you want to set this so you go onto display and you've got grid a little square on the grid and just set it your length and width 500 units your grid lines every 500 units and your subdivisions by 10 and just apply and close that and it will change for you it hasn't changed for me Okay, so I'm going to use this entire square uh, just to show you how it all snap together. So I'm going to get a basic cube. I'm going to hold X and drag from corner to corner so it all snaps together. Make sure this. I always do this. It's just good practice. Holding X again and bring it up. That didn't work out. Let's do that again, dead quick. Okay, there we go. Go up by one. Okay. So that's done quite nicely. Uh, we'll before we actually we'll do a look, go on PQ one. We'll set the rotation, put it to ninety, and let's uh, press insert on your keyboard, which allows you to move your pivot around, and holding V, which allows us you can also press it up here, snap to points, but I just hold V because it's easier easy for your shortcuts and just snap it to the corner so that's all like that and your XYZ coordinates just zero that out okay so this is going to be our main window doesn't really look like much now uh, but let's get right into it we'll go on face and we'll, ext we'll extrude this face so we have we'll hold right click onto face hit that face and here you've got extrude It'll be on your polygons. If you're on polygons, it's just on the corner here. Drop down menu, you've got all load of nonsense there you don't even need to worry about. Make sure that's on polygons, polygon subs there, and extrude. It looks like something that's been extruded. Simple enough. Let's click that. Okay, and let's press this little green box which brings up the blue one in the middle. And let's just bring this right down to let's say let's say about 0 0.6 yeah 0 0.6 will do then we'll put 6.5 for the rest of them okay 0 0.65 yeah it looks good enough it looks good enough nice and quick let's extrude this again because if you don't extrude it again it'll just warp like this and we don't like that we don't like that so we'll extrude it again bring that in to let's say let's say minus 20 I mean you don't have to do this you don't have to be that specific I just like being specific so I know that all every single asset on my scene is all assigned dimensions you know, it doesn't have to be but that's the way if you go through a workflow pipeline you you want to be specific so this is what I'm doing okay so that's pretty much our window at the moment you know it's nice and low poly so we'll, we'll, we'll just put some little basic tweaks. So we'll put the uh, actual glass in there. So we'll do that now. So we'll grab another polycube and we'll just set the height and width of this. 
just anything will do. Uh, we'll make sure this fits in first before we do anything. Um, I'll try for yeah. I'll go for like a nice little fancy one. So if you want, if you just want to click, uh, click on your cube, and up here you've got your attribute editor. Make sure that is selected. And you go to Polycube 2, you've got a load of random stuff, so you get your material, your shading groups, your rotations, uh, don't even know that, just the mesh attributes, and then your Polycube history. With your history, you need to go on your height and your depth, and make sure your height's at 2, and uh, your depth's at 2 as well, so we're going to go for a nice fancy window. Uh, let's make sure this is actually fitting right. That's always the... Uh, Bit. Now I can't really see anything here. This is to do with Maya and its uh, render qualities. So make sure you have your viewpoint 2.0 and your renderer on. Uh, make sure your ambient occlusion is uh, selected just so you can see what's going on, especially when you want to go into your other viewports. So you can actually, for example, see that, because if the occlusion wasn't on, you'd see nothing and it'd be impossible. Make sure that's on. And also I do like to work in wireframe. Uh, you've got this wireframe, which I don't really like. And you've also got your wireframe on shaded. Make sure that's selected as well. And make sure to deselect that. So I can see all the dimensions. So let's go ahead and actually fix this properly. Uh, it won't take long at all. But, uh, let's make sure this is do, 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 do. yeah that should be okay let's just go into the side viewport here see what's going on okay so we're just going to fix this up here. Make sure this is all nice and aligned. Because if that walkthrough is there, you'll get overlapping UVs in uh, UE4, uh, which is which is not ideal for for what you want to do. Because it'll just come up with a load of errors, and you don't want those errors. Those errors aren't very nice at all. Let's go back into here. Make sure your vertex is all selected. Don't let this be a bit quicker, but uh, I will figure this out. I mean, this doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, if you go in for modular environments, it's not a focal point of your scene. Uh, you don't really need to be, you know, bang on uh, perfect for this, but we'll just see how it goes. Uh, that's good enough for now. Uh, we'll just drag this out. We'll grab all four of these faces. Uh, I'm just using shortcuts. If you don't know how you, to, you click and hold shift, and you can click them all, which is very handy. And uh, we'll just go and extrude. This may not work. This did not work. Right, so. Uh, we'll grab each face individually and extrude them in, just as we did before. And you'll see a local scale. Let's make sure all these. Let's let make sure all these local scales are on 0 0.85. That's a good number to go by. So yeah, 0 0.85, 0 0.85, and 0 0.85. Let's do this dead quick. Zero point eight five. Yep, and zero point eight five again. Absolutely spot on. Last one. 0 0.85. Again, you can do this how you like. I just like to be very specific. Okay, so that's our base. Now we can grab all four faces that we have here. And we can extrude all of these in. Uh, let's say about... What's good here? Let's say... Uh, maybe a bit too deep but sod it 
If it works, I'll fix it. If it works, yeah. Okay. That, if you take this off, that will be our basic window. Uh, I mean, we can. Let's do something here. Let's uh, hold his shift and double click on these edges. We'll select all of these edges. And let's go into. Uh, where are we off to here? Let's go into Edit Mesh. Uh, there's a bevel option. Press the square on the bevel. Uh, and let's let's leave it on 0 0.2 on the width and apply, and that looks okay. Just to put a bit of uh, fanciness onto the window, not nothing nothing too great. I mean, it's a it's a, looks all right, and we'll just leave it like that. That'll be okay for our window uh, so far. That yeah, that will be uh, that'll be fine. We'll we'll tweak it in a minute. We'll make sure it fits in quite nicely. Okay, let's just set this aside for a minute. So we have our frame, our wall, for example. That's going to be our wall. Our window frame. And let's get a ledge as well. Let's just throw a ledge in there. This is a nice little quick one. So we'll grab another polycube. We'll just drag this out. And we'll make sure this... Sorry, that was my phone. Should be on silent. Okay, fantastic. Okay, press insert again. Let's uh, grab holding V, set our pivot, press insert again to take it off, otherwise, you'll have a lot of problems. Uh, and let's just throw this in the back, right in the corner here, just because this has to be lined up properly. We'll grab these vertexes by holding right click vertex, drag them all, hold them all and then holding V again you can snap it to that wall there same principle with the bottom lock drag, pivot, if I can do it, yep there we go oh my lord, I think it's on, yep that's on spot on okay and this is too far out so we'll just bring this in a bit so about here, yeah that's good and we'll bring this down as well to about yeah about there that doesn't have to be perfect but that works that works quite well <coughs> uh, we'll just bring this in a bit more actually okay let's grab the edges don't double click just click and click once again edit mesh uh, we'll bevel 0.2 That'll do. Let's go by universal bevel of 0 0.2. Let's not change that at all. Okay, that's looking spiffing. Fan dabby dozy. And I think to save a bit of time, we'll put this and uh, we'll press Control D. That duplicates shapes, objects, anything. We'll drag this up. Once again, we'll change the pressing insert on your keyboard we'll change the pivot point so we'll hold V and change it to the top corner and we'll just snap this right in the corner there that's looking great so we've got a top and bottom so we've got a bottom ledge and a top just to, just to support it then we've got our window coming in okay so with this window we are going to again press insert hold V put this right in the corner again insert again and we can literally just drag this in like that so we know that is right in the corner right in there so we've got a couple of things to change with this so you can see the window is actually too big now it's going to cause problems so let's just press R or uh, you've got your keys here if you want to manually do it so that's your rotation that's your move and that's your scale but I just press R, shortcuts it's a lot easier and we'll grab the Y axis and we'll just drag down a bit so about there okay and that is going to be our window yeah that's looking okay yep spot on okay so what I'm going to do uh, you'll have to do this in your scene all the time just make sure you save because Maya has a tendency to crash which is not good at all. So I'm just going to save this scene. 
as let's say example modular build 01 let's save that into my into my backup okay that's all nice and saved okay so at this point we are done with the modeling that is all uh, brushed off which is fantastic uh, on our next video uh, I will do this in two I'll do it in two parts in two parts second part is going to be the UV in uh, UV in and import probably won't take as long this is very quick so yeah uh, I will see you guys in part two